Hey, this is Colio. Um, so, new get dev log for Gazard. Uh, it's been a while, but I have been working on it. I did have a little burnout for a few months. <laughs> but I've made a lot of progress, too, since the last time, so I'm going to show it off. Uh, so, i got to remember this. G. Okay. So, let's do new game. So, uh, I got rid of the background that we had before. Uh, I've changed the colors picker with a something like a where you can get a more fine color a color wheel so this will let you pick a color and I'll end up like customizing this later but the idea of it works and you can pick like the exact saturation of what you want so you can have basically any color character that you would like you can make so that's in and it works um, real quickly I'm gonna show uh, it's fine. Um, okay, so I've done new effects. Uh, I said I was going to update the effects, and I did. So this is what the uh, champion's new um, normal attack looks like. So the claws. Uh, he's got jumping attack, ducking attack. Oh, this little block right here, I have made breakable walls. So I think this is a, uh, I think like a, I don't know, a wall that, you know, you hit it a few times, it breaks open. And... The way this works is you can only break it from like the side that I allow. So if you're on this side, you can't break it. But if you're on this side, you hit it once and imagine like some rocks crumbling off of it or something as it takes a hit. And then hit it again and it breaks open you can go through it. So that's kind of what that is. But anyway, um, after that we've got new, yeah, new effects on all the different weapons. So axe attacks look like this. <laughs> attack I don't remember if we had weapon throwing in the last video but I got that finished I don't know if I did I think I did um, so never mind that uh, sword effects which I really like these look nice and also by the way I can um I can change like the hue and the shade of like what this looks like so this bright orange and white basically imagine I can shift that to whatever color that I want or whatever saturation that I want just the same way as my characters colors can change I can do that with this so this is just the base one but each weapon will have like its own different look and size to it but I'm just going to use that one as like the um I don't know the starting point for all that so yeah that's what swords look like jump attacks I got rid of the falling attack on the champion because I felt like it uh it wasn't very good so he just has one type of attack like the other one do um and then spear it looks like this jump attacks duck attacks and then yeah so that's what that looks like uh next character so this is the way raptor she's got this attack now i've gone with this red and black look instead of the orange one I don't know if I might have to change that, but for now I'm just going to go with that. It gives her more of like a darker characteristic. So that's what her attacks look like. Um, these are, which one do I pick up? I pick up the whip. So this is the whip. And you can see I did what I said last time. I put a little spark on the end of it. So basically anywhere in between you and the spark, you're not actually hitting anything when you duck attack so that's how that works but it's got like really long range so you can whip something really far away or you can do this one and hit everything in between on um, this repeatable attack so that's what that looks like here's the claws yeah. and then the sword you yeah, love that jump sword that's what that looks like oh yeah and then I did a new wall pounce art too so does this like shuriken looking thing and she bounces off the wall um and then finally we've got the shaman I haven't finished the shaman stuff yet I'm working on it right now I've got some new stuff in here but um not all of it but I will show 
what I've got. So I definitely I got all of his attacks, but I'm gonna redo those. I don't know if I should show any of this because I'm gonna redo most of it. But uh, I do have teleporting, so that one's gonna stay like that. And I like what it looks like. Um, air dashing, I'm changing it. I'm doing something different with that. Um, <laughs> what else is there? Let's see, there's the multi-jump, but I'm going to change it as well. I'm going to make it bigger. It'll basically look like that, but the wings are too small. I'm going to make them larger. And then this is the same, the charge animation. So it charges up three different levels. But uh, I'm drawing the spells over. I've got some spells in here, but I didn't like what they looked like, so I've revamped the whole what spells look like and what they do. So I'm just currently drawing that. I got like half of them done. So I'm almost there. I just haven't put them in the game yet. Uh, okay, I think that's it for effects. Um, okay, so what did I spend? Well, okay, let me, let, this, let me do this real quick. Um, oh, wait, yeah, okay. This is uh, unscripted, by the way, so I'm just kind of making this up as I go. Real quick, let's do this. Um, hue changing, I put that in the game, so as you can see, I can change the hue of like what is, uh, what is tattoos look like without changing the white color. So that's what that looks like. And then finally, let's do this. So in this test room, I did uh, traps. And you can see there's a fireball. <laughs> you can tell because it's called a fireball. There's a, a clamp. Think of that. The What says clamp right here. Think of that like a... Uh, oh, yeah. That's, you can't see the left side of the screen. But you should be able to see that. Uh, that's like a bear trap. So if you step on it, it'll like grab you and won't let you go until you shake loose. So that's what it looks like. You can see it's counting down. So my character's stuck right now. And if I shake it loose, it breaks. Or you can attack it to destroy it. Uh, but not with this weapon, because that weapon doesn't hit low. Uh, yeah, fireball, you can block it with the shield. These berries are like, uh, kind of like little poisonous mines. You get close to them and they explode. Falling rocks, as long as you can see them on the screen, they'll fall down if you walk underneath them. So that's what that is. You can see none's falling on me right here, but if you look up here, they are there. You just, yeah, you're never going to get hit by like a surprise it, up here at the top, I've got a dart trap. So, just think, this yellow box is just like a spawner. And then it shoots the darts, so that's how that is. And I'll probably put that in certain areas. And then finally, let's see, we got thorns. Thorns, if you touch them, you get hurt. You can hit them to destroy them. Spikes are the same thing, only difference is you can't destroy them by attacking them. They only get destroyed by running into them and taking damage, and then they'll break. If you have like a different armor set, I might do it to where you don't get hurt. You can just run through spikes and destroy them like other games that I won't mention. <laughs> and then this is a, like a frisian, So it's like a big wooden spike thing. But basically it's like thorns. It just takes multiple hits to destroy them. So that's what the traps are like. Um, I did that. Okay. Let me do this. Restart. I got to load the game. Okay. So, what this is going to do, you can see on the screen, I've done a time cycle. So, you can see it, it's counting through seconds. Consider, and it's set really high, so it's going to go through these really fast. But that's just for testing purposes. I'm probably going to set it down, what I'm thinking right now is like every minute in real world time is one hour in day. So, every 24 minutes should go through a full cycle. But as you can see, it does work that the number in the middle is what hour it is. So at 23, it's nighttime. And I can set, basically using this, I can change like where uh, different enemies are in the game or what the background looks like. I think I showed off some of that. Yeah, I definitely did. I showed off some of that day-night cycle in one of my previous videos. But I have it set up to where it actually like counts. And right now, that's just on screen so I can see what it is. Um, but yeah, um, I've also been working on, and I'm not quite done with this yet, but I've been working on this like selection system. So instead of like seeing armor on the ground and maybe you like overlook it or like the different doors and stuff that you can go into or NPCs, that's the, the final thing that I worked on that I'm going to, this whole video is kind of about, but yeah, I did this selection thing. So if you get close to something you can interact with, it's supposed to 
shoot out, highlight it. And then if you get really close, it's supposed to change, kind of like the arrows pointing there. It's supposed to change into that arrow. So it'll basically tell you what key you need to press to interact with the thing that it's highlighting. Oh, yeah, I'm going to have to uh, go over this guy. There we go. Because uh, we're going into town. Oh, yeah, I changed the background to be black just because I was thinking that there's no reason to have that grid on all the time and black is easier on the eyes. So everything's just right black right now because it looks nicer. Okay, but the big thing that I did was NPCs. So we're going to go into town. Right now it's nighttime, so most of the NPCs are like huddled up in their houses. But this guy at night, he chops wood. He's our first guy to look at, he's a carpenter. Um, but yeah, basically what I did is I drew all these different NPCs and all their animations. It was 972 frames and there are 207 animations. So that's what took me so long. <laughs> That took a very long time to do. So you'll see a couple of them as I go look through the town. A lot of these are like unlockable NPCs so that you won't start the game with them. You have to like rescue them and then they'll join your town. But right now they're all just in town right now um, so that I can make sure they all work. Uh, most of them have like a task they do at a certain time of day. And I wanted them moving around and doing different things just to make the game seem more interesting. So they're not always in the same spot. Like this guy, he chops wood at night, um, but if you find him somewhere else during the day, he could be walking around the screen or doing other things. So, yeah, uh, we'll see a few more people. Like, here's their, one of our guards. He guards. This is technically the gate of the town, though it's not drawn yet, but this is where the gate would be to go into town. So he guards the front gate. Um, and it's currently daytime. I don't see anybody else around. Whether we see them, there's like a uh, like a random chance whether they'll walk around in town is basically so I didn't have to like track where they are in town specifically like a game like uh, the Elder Scrolls you know Oblivion Skyrim um, I didn't want to track them that way so I kind of like cheated it by just saying during the day they're in this place during the dawn they're in this place and the dust the night and basically the, they've all got like different things they'll do but most of them will have like during the day they might be walking the screen unless they have like a specific job to do but it'll have like a 10 percent chance that you'll see them walk across the screen so we might not see them all um if you want to see them all yeah it'll come out one day this is our uh one of our Leon characters, drummer. Uh, the other guard is up here. Imagine there would be a guard tower here. So he's just like guarding this tower, which will probably like overlook this force. So it'll be off to the side here. Uh, so he's floating up there for a reason. Most of these places that they're put is temporary. Like I, I don't know exactly where he goes yet, but the idea is to get him to show up in these different screens when they're supposed to, and all that works fine. So. Um, I'm going to end up placing them better later. Uh, there's a shepherd, another one of our land guys. Uh, this would be like a ranch area, so this is the uh, one that tends to the animals in town. Uh, here's a butcher. He's currently roasting some meat on a big stick. Oh, there's our guard. Oh, good. I haven't got to test this yet. Yeah, he's supposed to salute. Okay, yeah, good. If you get near him, he like goes to attention and then he continues walking he's one of the few that's got like that random behavior but yeah you can see he walks from one side of the screen to the other just to make town feel a little bit more alive uh this is the marketplace so we got a lot of them here um this is our tailor he's spinning rope um the things that like they interact with i don't really have all of them in game yet it's one of our hunters uh a couple of our music people all set together here's our smith oh and i used him for testing purposes so basically if he had something to say to you this thing would come out and tell you so that's kind of how i'm going to do this so if you're walking through town you see this thing you'll know oh he's got something to say and you can talk to him otherwise you'll just walk by him and nothing will happen because some of them will have things to say 
depending on like where you are in the game, they give you clues about what you can do next and how that works. Uh, one of our children characters. She's actually got a lot of. Uh, uh, she got some stuff to do with the story, so it's one of their more interesting characters. But this will be kind of like the player's house, this area, and then this is the guy. It's like tutorial guy. He'll tell you what you should be doing, but you don't have to do that. I've got a very open world kind of mind when it comes to this, though there are some areas you can't get to unless you can unlock these different characters that have like double jump and stuff, but. This is just like the tutorial guy. He'll tell you where you probably should be going. That way you have a little direction when you're playing the game. There's a carpenter again. Um, this area is our bonfire. So this is just like, consider it the middle of town, sort of. Everybody tends to like group up here at night. Um, they've each got like their different huts and stuff, but like the majority of them will be in this kind of area, which is right next to the player house. If I let it turn nighttime. Oh, there's a hunter. Hunter 3, walking around. Yeah, at night time, you see a lot of them are here. Um, so I'm going to have like this guy off in the background, leaning against the wall. Uh, I'll probably have like a big bonfire here and a stove. So she's cooking food. And they're all just kind of hanging out here. we got some sleeping. They're kind of overlapping. The depths aren't quite right yet, but yeah. There's uh, two of the kids. They're training with this dude. And then this is the back gate. And the rear of it. Where this guard guards. So, it's all that. I think that's about it. <laughs> Honestly, what took most of the time was just drawing all these guys. This took uh, an, uh, quite a bit of time. Uh, minus the burnout that I had. I spent a lot of time drawing stuff. Um, but that's about it. I don't, I can't think of anything. There's definitely been a lot more of this stuff, but most of it's smaller, kind of like, you know, game system stuff. I think I showed most of it. But, yeah, that's it. Um, I'm going to end the video here. Uh, the next thing we'll be working on, I'm going to be drawing like, Got a couple more monsters. Uh, that was something else I drew. I drew all the lizard men enemies I have drawn. I just haven't put them in the game yet. But like most of these, they kind of look like them. They'd be like an axe man enemy. It looks sort of like this dude. He'll walk around the screen and attack you. Um, I did like the lizard men variants, which kind of look like these dudes. Uh, well, they're not here. But yeah, they walk around and attack you. So I did a couple monsters as well. I call them monsters. They're like lizard men enemies. Enemies. Um, but what I'm doing next is I got a couple more enemies to do, mostly like death animations and variants and stuff. I don't think it's nearly as complex as what this has been. And then eventually we'll get on to doing bosses, which is going to be another huge undertaking. But um, yeah, slowly but surely getting through this, making progress. Uh, sorry, it's been a while since an update, but you know, if you follow me on Twitch, you can keep more up to date with this kind of stuff. Just really showing every time I get to like a certain milestone. But that's it. Later.